Hey everybody. Today we're doing another related rates problem. We're going to tackle the famous lamppost problem. A street light is mounted at the top of a 12 foot tall post. A 5 foot tall woman walks away from the post at a rate of 4 feet per second along a straight path. How fast is the tip of her shadow moving when she's 30 feet from the pole? So here's a rough sketch of the situation. Please forgive my art. Intuitively, you can see that as the woman moves, the length of her shadow is going to change. Her tip of her shadow is going to move at some rate that very well could be different than the rate at which she is moving. Now, this picture isn't very mathematical, so I'd like to draw a slightly more formal sketch. In particular, I'd like to be able to label some variables. Whenever you're doing a related rates problem, your choice of variables should be guided by the rates involved, the rate that you're given or rates that you're given, and the rate that you need to find, or rates that you need to find. Here, we're told the rate at which the person is moving away from the pole. So let's call the distance from the pole to the person x. We need to find the rate at which the distance from the pole to the tip of the shadow is changing. So let's call that distance l. Now I'm ready for that slightly better sketch, like so. x, the distance from the pole to the person, and l, the distance from the pole, to the tip of the shadow. Let's explicitly state the derivatives that we're given and that we need here. We're told that dx dt is 4, the rate at which the person is moving, and we need to find dl dt, the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving. So our big goal right now is to find a relationship between those two variables x and l. We're going to do that in this case using similar triangles. There are two triangles here in this picture. Can you see them both? There's a small triangle with um, a height of 5 and a base of capital L minus X, and a larger triangle with a height of 12 and a base of L. Using similar triangles, we get L over 12 equals L minus X over 5. Cross multiplying and simplifying a little bit, that becomes L equals 12 sevenths times X. Now both L and X are functions of time, T. As time evolves, those distances will change. So we're going to differentiate this entire equation, L equals 12 sevenths X, with respect to that variable T. In other words, we're going to differentiate it implicitly. In this case, the calculation is fairly simple. DL dT is 12 sevenths DX dT. Now we just need to plug in the rate that we're given, DX dT equals 4. Plugging that in, we get 48 sevenths, about 6.9 feet per second. That's the rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving away from the lamppost. Notice that in this case, we never had to use the fact that the woman was 30 feet away from the post. The rate at which the tip of the shadow is moving does not depend on the woman's distance from the post.